taking on Baylor, number nine Jayhawks on the road, taking on the number 17 Baylor Bears. And you're watching the Big 12 in the blue, Baylor in the white. Thamba to jump for Baylor. And KJ Adams to jump for Kansas. Full house in Waco, Tony Padilla to join Doug Sermons, Ray Natilly. Sermons tosses it in the air and Kansas controls. Yeah, the guy to look for is Jalen Wilson. Harris drives in, finds Wilson, knocked away. And here's Cryer up ahead of the pack. And he scoops it home. Similar start for Kansas to their game at Allen Fieldhouse against TCU, where they pitched the ball away and gave up so many opportunities to the Horned Frogs in transition. Mentioned Jalen Wilson for Kansas. He's coming off 38 and 30 point efforts, 68 total points in the last two games, but both losses. Scott Drew wanted an offensive foul, and then Wilson. Misses the three, here comes Baylor. Baylor has shot makers in this game. Good screen roll down the middle of the floor to Flo Thamba. And two layups to start the game for Baylor. Kansas really wants to get downhill, play out of the middle of the floor and get into the lane to be able to make plays. Brady Dick, catch and shoot, it's a three. Kansas on the board. And, great, and he is a great shooter. Yeah, Bill Self says the best young shooter he's ever coached. Wagler gets a three. And that's what scares you if you're Bill Self. Adams on Flagler in a switch, just gives him a rhythm dribble and pulls up from three. You're worried about the drive, and he drills one on you. Yeah, but Color takes it to the basket. Bill Self in the shoot around. Cryer collects. Well, Flo Thamba did a great job of not giving up on that play and knocking it back out to LJ Cryer. Oh. Pryor buries a three. Jay, you talked off the... Maybe even in the, there, right in the middle. Good help by Baylor to take that away. Good feed, and Wilson got loose for the easy layup. With the movement that can't... TCU. And they led to a lot of runouts for the Horn Frogs. Pryor probing, gets it, and puts it off the glass and in. L.J. Cryer at elevator play. Pretty well done there by Pettiford to get through that closing elevator door. Kick out, Bridges. The West Virginia transfer buries a three. With these switches, they're going to take on K.J. Adams any chance they can. Flagler step through, step back, and knocks it down. He can get his shot any time he wants. A three-level scorer, and that step back is a staple on the rim and a lot of pressure on the Kansas defense. Deontay George, the freshman, going to work. And a follow there from Ojanwana. It K.J. Adams has to come over. That opens up the offensive glass. There's nobody there to rotate down and block him out. That's why you want those downhill drives. And Wilson answers with a three. Put Jalen Wilson, maybe Brandon Miller of Alabama. And nobody's played better the last week or so than Jalen Wilson has played for Kansas. And a three there from Cryer. Kansas has seen some uh, opposing shots go in. I mean, TCU hit like 13 of their first 15. And N.J. Rice there to collect and put it in. Yeah, to the TCU point. Drew has done here at Baylor. Baylor's beaten Kansas. Good, good play by Yesifu there to get that steal. He really read that very well. Wilson barrels his way to the basket and puts it home. One of the few transition baskets for... But again, Baylor makes it difficult at this end of the court because they're so good at grabbing their own misses. And a lot of those are long rebounds. Right there, Flagler hangs and hits. Well, Baylor does such a great job of using the entire floor. 
George pull up, got it. Big time, just refused the ball screen, took it the other way. The ball screen it in favor of Baylor. And that's unsustainable for Kansas if you want to win a game on the road. Dick catch and shoot, gets that one. Boy, how quick did he get that? And instead of going down for some rhythm, that ball went right up into a shooting motion. And right side, Pryor answers. And the lead. Yeah, you're going to start seeing shot fakes and drives because Kansas is going to have to really press up on Cryer, Flagler, and George. Wilson buries a three. He is starting against Kansas State, 30 against TCU. I mean, that is red hot. Yeah, we've seen teams defend Kansas all over Grady Dick from three and letting everybody else shoot it. Right there, Cryer, another triple. LJ Cryer knocking it down. And the Bears leading the Jayhawks with under five to go. For Baylor running that wheel action where they have a couple of staggered screens in a row. Now got to switch. Oh. Pryor knocks down another switch. You know, both Flagler and Pryor are going right at the switch. They're getting the matchup they want out of it and just cooking those guys. And Wilson answers. Pryor has 19. Flagler looking for space. Oh, oh my goodness, Adam Flagler able to beat Wilson. The small on the big, and he put it home, he'll go to the line. And he did it without a switch. You know, Caleb Lohner came over, did a little blur, ghost screen, but Kansas decided by L.J. Cryer with 19, Flagler's got 10. These guys never seem to get tired. They play a ton of minutes and don't seem to ever get worn down. Wilson jumper, got it. Jalen Wilson with 14. Around a little bit. Pettiford checking back in. So here we go. Cryer with the basketball. Cryer at the basket. And it won't fall. And that is the way the first half comes to a close. And Jay Billis, Kansas got to feel fortunate right now. Just down seven, but what an outstanding performance by the Baylor guards, especially LJ Cryer in that first. Wilson, double teamed and trapped, needs some help. Feeds inside and Adams a throw down, good find. And a great line drive, get to the front of the rim and make yourself available. George flips it off the glass, it comes right to Flagler. And inside the put back for Keontae George. Kevin McCoy's event, keep it alive and a teammate has a chance to get it. Harris able to turn the corner and spins it off the glass for two. Kansas ran a lot. They played on the court. <laughs> George off the mark. Got to keep those Fortnite records tight. What a Brady great did fake. Good ball fake. Goes at the basket. Puts it in and one. When we talked about that earlier. Brady Dick, because of his ability to shoot the giver for his father over the last year. And uh, his father was very proud of Fred. Wilson from deep, got it, and Kansas has the lead. And Kansas low 40% for the game. And right now their offense seems to be searching. Langston Love searching, spinning and shooting, and one! Langston Love, and they get the foul on Adams. Last season, Scott Drew urging on the sellout crowd here in Waco. Looks like Baylor going back to that 1-1-3, and there's the lob. When the wings are up, that corner is... Inside. Cryer got walled off. Hits Flagler for a three. And John, that... Bridge is a big rebound. Inside. Score. Boy, it looked like Bridges got that elbow up and built that that needs to be out of the game because it's trying to fool the official. Well, just don't get fooled. There's no contact, don't blow the whistle. 
That one knocked down by Love. Time out of the court. I'll tell you what, with the way Baylor's offensive rebounded against Kansas, you wonder what Oscar Shiva is going to be thinking. Yep. Brady Dick goes to the goal left hand. It's good. But give that young man a lot of credit. And thus far in the second half, LJ Cryer has not been able to get going. Now he got the switch with KJ Adams on him again. And Cryer able to hang and hit his first points. Wilson thought about a three. Instead, the give off, free throw line. Grady Dick got it. Well, he's got game. He can so many shots around the rim that they weren't able to get down. Love. And one. And Langston Love is a player that Scott Drew needs more out of. Kansas going five out. Trying to move the ball from side to side, then get downhill. Good cut by Brady Dick. Just a beautiful back cut along the place to play against a really good team in Baylor. Like, where do you go in the Big 12 to get healthy? Yeah. You know, the schedule seems like it never favors you. Wilson barrels his way to the bucket and puts it home. Jalen trying to spin it home. Could do it. They still had that all the way to the left, and he tried to go to the other side. Yesifu off balance. Rebound McCuller and he puts it home. SVP coming up at the conclusion. A white out. Full house at the Farrell Center and Baylor is led most of the way. Wilson at the basket puts it home. Two more. He's got 21. And that shot. one tipped to Harris. Shots are so difficult. Good job getting back. Flagler able to intercept the pass. Now up ahead, Bridges! How about that sequence? To smarter players, Dewan Harris turns it over in transition, and it winds up being a layup for Baylor. That's the kind of night it's been for the Jayhawks. Brady Dick continues to take it to the basket. Nine. I think the one was that turnover by Dewan Harris and the basket the other way by Jalen Bridges. Wilson off the glass and good. Boy, great change. Baylor guards are good free throw shooters. There's another right hand drive. Last one tipped. Bridges gets fouled. Boop, this game has basically been about Kansas's inability to secure. They've ranked in the top 13 in the entire country in offensive rebound percentage. They've had coaching, teaching, and recruiting players that are good at it. And this year, they don't have that kind of size, but because they shoot so many perimeter shots, they're longer rebounds. And so those guards are getting in on the act, too. Wilson needs some help. Brady Dick from deep. Bridges the rebound. McCullough fouls him. 22.8 to go. Working to get better. The results don't seem like it, but this league is so tough. Five sixty-nine. your final. Baylor knocks off Kansas.